Hello everyone, some months ago I showed you a beta of a VR version of the Central Land made by the company called Binder. In order to play that version you needed a gaming PC with a decent graphics card. Another problem with this version was that if you weren't close to your PC there was no way to play it. And as you may know, Oculus Quest 2 allows to play native apps that don't depend on external hardware. At that time the Central Land wasn't available, but now it is. However, the way to install it, it's harder and honestly, the experience is not as good as the other one. At least for now, because the team is still working on the performance. Doing a video now about this may be a bit early, but I encourage people to try it so you can give feedback to the developers. I will put here the Discord of DAO and there you will find a specific channel to talk about this VR version. Also, the release you're going to see now may be different from the one that is available at the moment you're watching this video. But I don't think there will be substantial changes on the way to install this application. And if there are, I will make another video or just update this one on the description. So make sure to check the description. Because the central end is not available at the Oculus Store, we need to install the app doing something called site loading, thanks to a software called SideQuest. But before doing anything, we need to apply for a developer profile. Go to developer.oculus.com and log in using the same account you use for your Oculus device. Then press my apps and confirm your account by following any of these steps. In my case, I'm going to add my phone number. After doing that, press back to home and create a name of an organization. You can put whatever you want, in my case I will just put my name. Then check I understand and press submit. Agree the terms of conditions and press submit again. Now that you're a developer, it's time to enable it on your device. Grab your phone and on the Oculus app go to menu, devices, developer mode and enable that feature. Now we have a developer account activated on our device and it's time to install SideQuest. Go to sidequestvr.com and press get SideQuest. Download only the advanced installer. I'm using Windows but there are versions for Mac and Linux as well. After we have downloaded it, open the file and follow the instructions. Then we execute it and wait until it finished to download some stuff. Turn on your Oculus and connect it to your PC using a USB-C cable. The software should detect it automatically. Put your headset because it's going to ask you to accept some stuff, you just need to accept everything. I also have installed the SideQuest app on my Oculus, but I don't think you need to do this. As you see, everything from this list is green, so that means we can install external apps. If for some reason SideQuest doesn't detect ADB, go to a website that I will put in the description to follow the steps to download the driver. Then go to the website for the Central and app and press download on the latest version. Make sure to save the file on a place you remember. After downloading it, go to SideQuest with your Oculus connected to your PC and press the box with an arrow. Choose the app you previously downloaded and wait until it installs. Then go to your app library and filter by unknown sources apps and choose the Central and VR. Press play using your wallet and choose Wallet Connect. Now grab your phone with MetaMask and press the button to scan the QR code. Try to point the camera inside the headset to be able to scan the code. Yeah, I know it's a bit weird, but that's the way we have now. If it's done correctly, the central end will load. You can perfectly disconnect the cable and play from wherever place you want. But yeah, the experience of this version is awful, at least now. The sky is not being shown. It crashes and there is a bunch of lag. However, I wouldn't worry too much because as I mentioned before, this is a beta and the team is already working on optimizing this version and adding the sky and everything. Maybe when you're watching this video, the platform is already well optimized. All right, that's all. I think you will be able to experience this standalone version of the central end. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and that I'm really sleepy. So, all right, bye. 420.